much for joining this webinar. Today we're going to walk through our latest feature that we just released last month called whiteboarding. And so what I'm going to do first is just talk a little bit about the benefits of the feature and how it can be used. And then I'm actually going to show you how to create, uh, how easy it is to actually create a whiteboard using the whiteboarding tool. Um, so first, just to talk through sort of why we build whiteboarding. Whiteboarding is intended to be a platform for telling great stories. So it's more than just a creating sort of a, a templatized line sheet, but it's actually meant to give you the flexibility to tell the story that you want when you're walking into, for example, into appointments, um, into to tell your brand story, to add logos, to add, um, for example, visuals around maybe things that are on sale or things, products that you want to promote, and then lay them out in a way that potentially you wouldn't be able to do just in, the, in a templatized format. So for example, here, if I want to show um, different shirts and pants together and in, in, in how collections can work together, I can do that using a whiteboard. Um, and at, at the end of the day, what this is often used for is to really to drive uh, um, deeper into existing accounts. So if you want to sell deeper into an account, you can do that using the whiteboard feature because you can present your collection and present your information in a way that you wouldn't normally be able to do uh, with, with just a line sheet, if you will. So it kind of takes line sheets and visual presentation to another level. Um, so what I'm showing here is um, a whiteboard that I already created. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through, I'm gonna recreate this live for you now. Um, so first, this is an example. So when I log into New Order, by the way, one thing you'll see is you'll see this option here called whiteboards. When I click on whiteboards, I can see different whiteboards from different brands that I've actually created them for. In this case here, this is an outdoor brand, a generic outdoor brand that we have here that um, I've added some imagery, I've created, I've added some tents, I've added some text, and I'll show you how I've done all this and I actually have multiple pages as well, where I've I created a second page, which was actually a suggested buy for a March delivery. And you can see how I created a page here that said that you should buy six units, you should buy four of these, two of these. And, um, before I go in and create the line sheet, let me just show you some of the power of how it's also meant to be a collaborative tool that can be used between, oh, I see a question coming in here. Oh, can you use multiple brands? Um, uh, they can be used between the reps and the buyers together. And so I see one question that um, just popped up around, can I do this with multiple brands? Um, the answer is, um, Yes, and more to come. So to explain that, right now what you'll see is all of your whiteboards from multiple brands will be in one place. So when I click on whiteboards, I can see whiteboards from different brands. But what, um, and what you can't do yet, but is something that we will be adding in the future would be the, the opportunity to actually add products from um, different brands that you're connected to into the same whiteboard. So it is something that will be coming in the future, but for now you can actually at least see all of your whiteboards from different brands all in one place. Um, so now to continue to go back to um, the whiteboard, uh, the other thing, as I was mentioning around collaboration, once I have a whiteboard created, and again, I'll go into how it was created in just a minute, I can go and actually uh, share this whiteboard. And when I share it, if any of you have used Google Documents, it actually follows that similar model. Let's say I'm going to pick um, Blake here. Blake is another, he could be the brand user, or in this case, I have uh, Blake also set up as a buyer. I can, he's one of my buyers. I can give him permission. To, I can give him view only permission or edit permission. I could even make him the owner of the document if I wanted to. But if I want to give him edit permission, he can now come in here and add comments, move things around, and actually collaborate with me and edit the document together with me here. Um, I can always, and it's flexible too, so I can actually go and say, you know what, I didn't mean to give him edit permission, I really wanted to be view only, and there, now it's view only. So super easy to use in terms of intuitiveness for like how things are, how you share things, how you set it up. If I want to remove access, all I do is click the trash button, and now uh, Blake no longer has access to this document. Super easy. Um, the other thing is, this is meant, um, it can be downloaded as a PDF. So I can export it as a PDF and I will get a PDF of this document, which I can then email out or do whatever I want to do with the PDF. I can use it, I can take it with me to an appointment. Um, and finally, um, I, it's meant to be orderable. So if, I, if I'm not in edit mode right now, I'm in the view mode. If I click on a product, I can then add it to the cart and I can order it right from this whiteboard. So the whiteboard is interactive. Or if I want to or the, order the entire page, if I know I want to order all three tents, I just click this button here and it's going to add all three to the cart. You can see the cart just went up to three. 
Um, so we're trying to make it very easy to order and sell off of one of these boards. Um, so now let me get to the, the real wow part here, which is how easy it is to build one of these. So if you kind of look at this page here, I'm going to attempt to create, uh, I created this yesterday, but I'm going to create a, a very similar version today in live to show you how to get to something like this. So the easiest way I'm going to do this, I'm actually just going to add a page to this. And you can have unlimited pages. Um, and also, by the way, when you create the whiteboard, you, um, it's, it, it, would, it applies to all pages, but you'll be able to set the size of the canvas. And there's some default ones, US letter, US legal, some European sizes, or I can actually choose custom and I can create it custom, uh, custom width as well. This is the default size for US letter, happens to be these number of pixels. And I can choose landscape or portrait. And right now I'm showing the grid, so I have a grid to work on. And you'll see thing, as I'm doing this that um, things actually snap to the grid too to make it really easy to get things to line up. Um, so in this case here, and, and the other thing is as I have pages, I can reorder them. If I, want, if I create a page and I realize I want it to move up, I can, move, I can just grab this little handle thing here and move things around to get the pages in the order in which I want them. Um, so back on this page here, the first thing I'm going to do is add that graphic. So you'll see what I have at the top here. This is my main toolbar for things I want to add to the whiteboard. And this right hand side becomes sort of my, my toolbox and my working area. So let me start with a product actually, that'll be easier. I want to add, there's different templates. I can have a one product template, a three product template, or in this case, a seven product template, depending on how I think, want things to lay out. So I chose the one product template here. That's now highlighted. You can see all of my products from my gallery are now here in the right hand bar. I can search for them just like I would here if I want to search tent. Those tents would come up and I can start, I can just simply start dragging and dropping them and moving them onto the whiteboard. In this case here, I want to make it a little bit bigger. And in this case, I want the image, you can actually change how the image displays too, whether it's in this case, I want it to, uh, because of the way this image was shaped, I want it to fill the content. So I just moved it to fill. Um, so you see, I've got my first one on, on here. Now within this, um, Within the tent here, what I can do is I can set up, I can choose, set the content. So what content do I want to show here? And the nice thing is this is loading from all of your product data that is already loaded into new order. So no extra work to get your style numbers, your pricing, all that in here. Let's say I want the color to be on here as well. All I have to do is click add field, choose color, and you can see that it popped up there. But you know what? I actually want color to be right under the name. And you can see as I'm making changes over here, it's reflecting real time in the whiteboard on the left. And in this case here, now I can actually configure each of these fields if I want to go a level deeper. So in this case, maybe I want the name to be bold. I can click on bold. Maybe I even want it to be a little bit bigger. I want it to be 16 point font or maybe even 18. You know what, let's make it even a little bit bigger, 18 point font. Um, let's say that the price on this one is a special price because for whatever reason, well, first I can edit the values too. So let's say I'm giving a discount to, to this particular customer. It's only going to be 150 and I want them to know that that's a special price. So I'm also, so I made that 150 and I'm going to make it red. By the way, it also shows you what the correct, what the product data says the price is. So you, the, the data says the price should be 160, but I've changed it to 150 here. If I want to reset it, all I have to do is click this little refresh and it actually goes back to 160. Um, so you never lose your, you, all, you never lose track of what your original pricing was, which is really powerful. Um, so now you see I've created this nice template here where I've got this product that I really like. I've got the bold, I've got the, uh, this is my style number and I've got my, my thing here in red. In fact, I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller so I can fit the three across that I was showing you there. And you can see it's that easy to just drag and drop things and move them around. Now the, um, I can do copy. The easiest way to do this is actually, if I really like the way I've laid this out, I can do a copy and a paste. I did it with the mouse so you could see it, but you can actually do control C and control V on the keyboard as well. And if you notice, by the way, there's a little blue thin line up here that's lined that you can see that's popping things around. It's making sure that everything lines up exactly right at the top. You can see these are exactly in line because it's snapping to that grid as I move down. Um, and then finally, um, in this case here now, I want to change the product and I want this to be the green one. As soon as I've chosen the green product, now you can see it changed to green. Um, in addition, you see the four little boxes here. If your brand is a brand that has more than one product image, maybe you have, if you're clothing, you have the front and the side and the back. I can choose which ones I want to show here. Um, I'm going to copy paste this with the keyboard now one more time. Copy paste. And I'm going to add this. And I'm going to move these over. I'm going to make them fit a little bit better.
And I'm going to change this one to be actually a different tent. So if I choose um, this two person tent here, you now you can see the style number is different as well. Um, but you know what, these ones, you know what, they, this price isn't special, so I don't want it to be red. I'm going to actually change it back to black. It's that simple. Notice, by the way, there are hex, you can also put in a hexadecimal value if you don't want to choose from the color picker. So if your brand has specific colors that you always use, um, then, you can, uh, then you can just type in your color value there and you'll get those colors. Um, one second. Um, I did have a question on can you show the color swatches for the product? The swatches are not um, currently, the swatches themselves won't show, but I've already seen one brand that's using this now. What they have is they actually have, which I'll show you in a second how to do this, they actually have their swatches as an image as well. And because you can place any image on a whiteboard, what they've actually done is they just load their swatches on a board as an image. Um, and actually that, that ties in nicely to go to the next phase here, which was I was going to show you now in addition to adding products to the, um, to the whiteboard, I can actually add images too. So the next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add an image. I'm just going to drag one from um, a little window that I have open here. Uh, I believe this is the correct one. And so it's uploading the image that I was going to use as my header. And so this was that header that you saw on the previous slide. Just a little bit smaller. I'm going to make, I'm actually, this, I know it's 792 wide, so I'm just going to, oops, a mistake. 792. There we go. And so now that's the exact width of the page. And I've added, so I added this image at the top here. Now the next thing you can see is I have, and it, I can add text. So I'm going to add text that said, um, I don't remember what I actually had on the demo over there, but let's say fall tent collection. It can really be whatever you want it to be. And then the same thing with this, I can take this, I was going to move it over here, make the text white. Uh, and obviously quite a bit bigger. Let's make maybe 24, probably even a little bit bigger. There we go. And I can change the, how it wraps so it looks nice. And I want it to be enough justified and right there. So now you can see how easy it was to create. So I put this background image, a little bit of text on top. Now, um, what I showed in the demo or in the previous one over here was that two of these are they're for different deliveries. And again, this is a free form. Oops, I didn't grab the right thing. This is a free form tool. Uh, in fact, what's interesting that, oh, the other thing is you can um, move, change the order of things. Like if you've used PowerPoint or other documents, all you can do is I can, I want to send this tent to the back so that I can grab this line. Um, and so the line is now here. I want to put a line to show that these two are in a specific delivery. And I was going to add text to say, um, Oh, I said fall, but um, maybe I should have said spring. So let me say March, uh, March delivery, or avail. Let's say available March, and I'm gonna slide this right over here. Um, so let me change this to spring since I happen to choose a spring month since it's already November. So spring tent collection, available March. And in this case, this one over here was gonna be available. Uh, oops, I did that again. That line should be, there it is. I'm just not grabbing it. Um, well, I am missing it with the mouse, which is my fault. There we go. And then this comes over here. And let's say this one was going to be, I can actually take my available March, copy and paste it, move it over here and say available in, this one wasn't available till April. So super easy for me to do, to sort of put lines and data. So again, with a freeform graphics tool, you can do pretty much anything you want. As I saw on this page here, just to go back to this one, what I have here, this is actually a blue box. So you can use circles and rectangles and stuff with some text on top of it and then an image below it. So that's how I kind of got the suggested buy from March delivery on top of this blue box. And then I put some blue text here to say how many units I suggested that they buy. And then I made this, I happen to make this one the bigger product because it, it's, a, it's an expert pack and these are day packs. So you can, again, there's so many different things you can do with how you lay pages out. Um, going back to this one I was working on, the other thing I, I wanted to do is I wanted to highlight one of these as a limited edition. So I can throw another graphic in here. I had a little uh, limited edition graphics, which I'm just going to drag. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just dragging from my desktop onto that 
uh, onto that little window, and I want to make this one, this little limited edition logo, fit right there. And there you have it. I think that was pretty much what I had on the original mock, and you can see how, I mean, that literally, especially with talking through it, I probably did that in about, you know, three, three minutes or so. I mean, you could, you could create one of these pages in just a couple minutes. And again, because it's tapped into all of your data, you're not having to do a lot of extra work, you know, what would maybe take, you know, a half hour, hour, multiple hours in PowerPoint can be done in just minutes here because it's got all the benefits of an Adobe Illustrator and PowerPoint type like functionality, all the graphic design tools integrated with all of your product data. And then it gives you the ability to share it and collaborate with other users on it. And you can collaborate internally as well. So if you want to share this with other reps, you can share it with other reps. And um, so you can collaborate from it. And again, it's orderable as well. So if you send it to a buyer, they can, they can just click on things and order directly from it. Um, so really meant to be a powerful tool for you to be able to sell deeper into existing accounts and really bring your collections to life in a way that really can't be done with, um, with just sort of a standard line sheet. Uh, this really takes, uh, takes it to the next level, which was really the intent of this tool.